Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mallory and this is my first video that I've done. Um, I just did a quick little makeup tutorial. Um, on this look right here, it's just like purple, mauve tones, um, added a little lash and some killer highlight. Um, so if you wanna find out how I got this look and see what kind of products I used, keep on watching. Okay, so for today's makeup look. Um, I don't exactly know what I'm going to be doing. I know I want it to be something a little bit more like purpley, sparkly, kind of like mauve toned. Um, so I'm just going to kind of do something like that, I guess. I already went ahead and did like my moisturizer and all that. Um, so I'm just going to go and quickly prime my face. My primer that is like running out so much. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer. Just take a little bit of that, rub it on. And I love that primer because it is super, super moisturizing. And I do have pretty dry skin, um, so I just love how it feels like a second moisturizer, basically. And then to go on top of that, I'm just going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This one is in Bronze Beige. Still have a little bit of self tanner left on, not a whole lot, um, but I'm definitely not at my pale list, so I can probably try to get away with the shade. And then just blending that out with the Morphe Jeffree Star Beauty Sponge. I think Morphe may have my new favorite beauty sponges. I was like die hard for the Beauty Blender for like the longest time, like pretty much since it launched. I feel like. Um, and then I switched over to the Real Techniques, but then ever since I tried Morphe, like the original like red Morphe sponge, I think this is going to be my ride or die, like till the end foundation sponge. Um, okay, so now I'm just going to do a second layer of that. I usually like to layer my foundations just to build it up um, if I don't get enough pigment the first time. I feel like layering also helps me like not put on like two tons of foundation the first time around. Um, I just do like a light layer and then build it up in the spots that I feel like I need to. Which is everywhere, but it's fine. Um, oh my god, my dog is literally, <laughs> she's literally like right here. I don't even know how I can like show this. I'm like, oh my god, I might mess up my whole setup, but like. If you can see her. Uh, Luna? What are you looking at? Luna! There you are, baby! Uh, God, I think I like messed up my whole setup. It's fine. Yeah, so that's my dog, Luna. She is very clingy can't tell she has to be by me like literally 24 7 <laughs> wherever I go she goes um okay so for concealer I'm gonna be going in with the Maybelline master conceal um and this is in the shade 20 light this is a fantastic concealer oh my god back to the video sorry for the interruption um i live in an apartment complex so there's pretty much a noise like all the time and luna absolutely hates everybody and she just barks at like every single noise so yeah that's gonna be a bit annoying apologies for that and now i'm just gonna go in with some powder to set my concealer my under eyes specifically this is just um the maybelline loose finishing powder um and this one is in light fair i think it's not the lightest one but i think it's like the second lightest one um so like i said earlier i have like more dry skin so i i say this as i'm going like super heavy i don't like to go super heavy with the powder but um i definitely just want to make sure that everything is like set in um and nothing like creases on me or anything um 
yeah, so then this is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH07 brush, and I'm just using this to blend out all the powder. Oh my god, my dog keeps like nudging my mirror that I'm looking at over here, and I'm like, you're gonna knock it over! Stop touching! I also have the blinds open and the window right in front of me, so she's like staring at like everything out there. Um, so I hope nobody walks by or else she's gonna like bark and go crazy. Um, okay, let me set this aside. Now I'm gonna move on and do my brows. So for eyebrows, I usually, well, I kind of switch it up a bit, but I've been back onto my pomade. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. And I'm just gonna use my Morphe E29 brush. I'm gonna see if I can do this on camera. If not, I can just like crop it out or something and then show you guys later, but yeah. Sorry, I'm like not talking during this part. I definitely am like trying to focus so I don't like completely mess this up. Okay, and then after I get like the initial bit of like product on, I just go in with a brush like this, a little flat brush. This is the Morphe M432. And I just like to go and kind of clean up like the edges, or like not the edges, but like the tails of my brow specifically. And I guess, yeah, like the edges and just make sure it didn't go out of like the lines or anything like that and I try to keep them more I say on the thin side I feel like I have like I don't have thick brows but they're I don't keep I don't do them like super thin like I used to either I just like to keep them like kind of like medium um okay so I do that and then I like to go ahead and set them this is just like the elf um like clear brow gel and I don't do this for the purpose of like taming my brows because as you probably like saw earlier I don't have like a ton of brow hairs so it's not like they get super crazy and like go everywhere I just feel like doing this step really helps like separate all the hairs um and helps it look more natural gives you a more natural look um oh my god she's like literally sitting on all my makeup <laughs> okay so moving on I'm gonna do the face um just drop my sponges so for my bronzer today, I'm going to be going into the Benefit Cheek Leaders. This is the Mini Bronze Squad Palette. I'm just dropping literally all my brushes on the floor. It's okay. Um, and this is the Morphe M530 Little Contour Brush. I'm just going to be using Hoola, the OG bronzer. And just kind of doing this. I'm not really contouring so much today as I am bronzing. I'm just trying to add like a little bit of like color to my skin. So I just take it below my cheekbones and then I do a little bit on my forehead too. Just my mirror. Okay, cool. And then for blush, I'm going to be using, this is the Milani Baked Blush in Berry Amour. And another Jaclyn Hill brush, shocker. This is the JH04 um, blush brush. So I've been really into applying my blush a bit differently lately. I used to just take it and I'd like do that little smile. And I'd like just hit the apples. 
but lately I've been going back up here almost by like where my contour is and kind of going like above that and just getting like the high parts of like my cheek and I feel like that really like takes your face and like pulls it like back and up almost I don't know it just gives you like a more contoured effect um instead of just like pink like right um on your cheeks I just really like the way that it's been looking lately when I do it like that. Then for highlights, oh my gosh, I have to get the brush off the floor because my dog knocked it over. Um, I'm then going back into the Little Cheek Leaders palette and using the shade Cookie, which is the highlight one, and this is the JH09. I actually bought this palette like as soon as Jaclyn Hill posted her like favorites video and she had this included. She specifically mentioned this palette just for the cookie highlight shade, but like, I mean, it's bomb. So I was like, I have to get it. And it's super pretty. So definitely love that. Oh, my face does not look blended on camera. Oh, wow. Okay, let me like take my powder brush and like soften this up a bit. Cause I'm looking at like the mirror and it definitely doesn't look like that intense. And then I just saw it in like the little viewfinder and it's like, poof, like orange. So I'm like, oh, it's okay. Moving on to my eyes. I think another Jaclyn Hill product. What do you know? Can you tell I'm Jaclyn Hill obsessed? Um, I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe. This is from the vault collection. This is Bling Boss. It's just got a bunch of like purpley tones, sparkly, sparkly shadows, and I'm all about the sparkle. Um, so I freaking love this palette. Um, let me see here. I'm gonna go in with the JH30 Jumbo. As you can see, this thing is like huge, like blending brush. And I'm gonna start off with the shade Hush Hush, which is like a lighter, like mauve tone eyeshadow it's matte too by the way and I'm just going to put this in the crease kind of messily I'm not going for anything like super precise here I like more effortless looks than like super perfect ones Cool. And then once we have all of that blended out, I'm going to deepen up like the outer corner a bit. This is the Morphe M433 brush. Hmm. I think I'm going to actually mix these two shades. This is Sparks. And I'm going to mix that with Rockstar, which are both deeper like matte shades. Sparks is more of like a brick red. And then... Rockstar is more purpley, but I can't decide which one I want to use, so I'm going to use both. Blend with the other one. I'm going to go back in. Deepen it up again. And then taking the shade Hush Hush again to blend them all out. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. I think that switching between brushes definitely helps the blending process for me at least and I just try to do like little circular motions and then just go back and forth to make sure it's blended from like the outer part 
to not really the inner part, but more like the middle. And then just going in one more time, building the product up. You know, don't start, please. Don't start. Oh, wrong brush. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Okay, I found it. Luna, stop. I'm sorry, but that's literally like, probably gonna be throughout the whole video because she doesn't listen when I tell her to stop. She just keeps doing her little thing. Okay, cool. So once I feel like that is like blended out like enough, um, I'm gonna go in and hit it with some sparkles. So I think I'm gonna go in the shade Bling Bling in the upper left corner right there. And this is just like a random like little Anastasia brush that came in like one of my palettes that I'm using. But I'm just gonna take this and start at like the inner corner and kind of pull it back um, to where it meets like the darker shadows in the end. And I'm also bringing it up, not really like into my crease, but I'm definitely making sure that I cover like the full lid. I love glitter, like I just love anything like sparkly and bright, I'm like all for. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go back in once again with the M433 brush with a tiny, tiny little bit of Sparks and Rockstar, making sure, tap that off. And then I just wanna go in the outer corner one more time and up into the crease and just make sure this is all blended in with that sparkle. I'm literally like beating my brush on this, like, yes. Um, and then give it one more blend with the big fluffy brush. Okay. And then I'm just gonna take my little like powder face brush that I used before and kind of just do a quick, a quick little um, swipe underneath my eyes just to make sure that there's no fallout. Got rid of all of it. Cool. And then to finish up the eyes, I'm gonna go in with this Morphe M321 brush. I'm gonna take Rockstar and put this like right underneath my lower lash. And then going in with Hush Hush to blend it out and smoke it down. I feel like I'm like blocking everything with this big palette, but I'm trying my best. I'm going to shoot off camera really quick to go ahead and finish off with like my lashes and mascara and all that. So I will be right back. Okay, so really quickly, this is like funny, but actually it's not funny at all because I'm super pissed. But I just had to show you guys like what my dog has been doing since I was filming that video because I noticed she was a bit quiet. Um, yeah, she literally destroyed my mini sponge. Luna. Why? She's literally wagging her nub. Like, no! <laughs> no! Why? I'm so sad. I mean, I guess I kind of deserved it because, like, I, I don't know. It was, like, within her reach and I should have known, but, like, man! Like, this is just not a good start to this YouTube thing. But, okay, now I'm gonna go and do my lashes for real this time. Alright, so we are back. The lashes are on. I just used some Ardell Dummy Wispies and then a little bit of Duo Lash Glue. Um, nothing too special. Here is, let me do a close-up of the eyes. 
hope that's in focus. Um, this is what they look like right now. My dog is still barking. Very sorry. She does not stop. Um, okay, so now to finish off this look really quickly, I'm just going to end it with um, a good lip. And this is Max lipstick in Really Me. It is just a bit of a mauve kind of like grungy purple, which is what I love. Um, so I'm just going to go and apply this. Are you done? Luna? Luna? Are you done yet? Gosh, you bark at freaking everybody. <sighs> and then to top that off, I'm just gonna go in with this little mini NARS gloss. I think I got it for like a birthday gift at Sephora or something. Um, so I don't even know if they like still make this because I feel like it's a little bit old. I'm sure they do. Um, but it's just like a little gloss and it is in Chelsea Girls. So I'm just gonna go right over top of that lipstick with this. Just like that, and I kind of use it more of like a pinky mauve tone instead of just like straight like purple. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it for today. This is the finished look. Um, I hope you all liked it. Um, thank you for watching if you did watch. Um, Stop. <laughs> Luna, come here. Get, come here. Okay. The baby. Maybe if I have her sit on my lap, she will behave. I think she's like a little afraid of the camera. Are you shy? Oh my gosh, she's like looking at herself in the mirror like, who is that? That's you. That's us. She's not into it. Um, yeah, but thank you so much for watching. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Um, and yeah.